What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to pick off where we left off, we are driving hard into Russian territory with as many troops as we can muster. And we've also landed around to the rear of the Russian territory as well. But what we need to do is we need to take uh, some of our armies down here to the south, like this one, and march them up to go and attack this small Russian army here. Actually, because they're already pretty depleted, I might just auto that. Um, but yeah, we do want to make sure we push up, maintain the pressure, keep securing our positions, and make sure we don't allow the Russians to get around behind us. So let's keep moving up my spy network. We're likely due for a big battle against Gdansk. But what I'm tempted to do is to try and fight the Bavarians. And one way to go about doing that is to fill every available um, city with troops. Or at least try and surround, try and surround their uh, their armies so they don't get a free lunch and an ability to push out and attack and annoy us everywhere. So I think I might actually have to wait for this fight here. We've deployed all our troops here against Sweden, which should be pretty interesting. But I think right now the call to make is to uh, hit and turn and watch what happens. If for nothing, if for no other reason than uh, the enemy has got a lot of calls to make this turn, which we've not quite got to worry about so much. So, let's hit end turn. And let's see how the computer decides to respond to our attacks. Yeah, there go the Ottomans. They're doing a similar sort of thing as what Bavaria is doing. As their agents continue to spread their religion on the world. We need to march forward, knock out the Russian Empire, and then we're golden, really. Then we own Europe, and then we can push, to be honest, in both fronts. East and west. I'll probably end up pushing east, I think. So what's your call, Russia? Where are you going to go? If we don't fight Russia, then we're going to fight a big battle against Sweden somewhere. Either near Gdansk or on... Oh, I'm going to auto that. Pew. Lost a bunch of ships for that, but uh, they lost all of theirs. Blub, 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 blub. Russian Baltic fleet is nearly gone. Mm, they're marching up to... Ah... Yeah, so some raiders can still cause some do some frustration attacks on my Baltic front. Yeah, better figure something out, Russia, because you can you now know I've launched those, I've deployed those armies behind your lines. Nope, you've replenished that army fully. Ooh, do I want to intercept Moldavia? I think the answer is yes. Pity about all the cavalry I've got, but let's do it. While well, there's two of them, and it also draws in the army that would have been heading towards Transylvania. So it gives me a bit of coverage there. Yeah, fundamentally, I'm... Uh, I'm right up at close and personal with the enemy on so many fronts that every end turn it's going to be well during my end turn phase there's going to be a bunch of battles at the end of every end turn phase there's going to be a bunch more artillery is not super useful so it just waits it waits until they make a breach how it says deploy to chuck out quicklime our cavalry deploys waiting for the time when they, uh, actually I might, I could, eh, 
Sometimes if you keep it outside though, what it does is it incentivizes the enemy to run around the flanks of your city, which you don't want them to do quite so much. So it's not great, but I might have to stack them on top of one another like so. So I can keep my general separate. Then let's deploy the men. If you've ever got a shortage, don't bother covering directly over the gatehouse. You usually just cover the uh, cover the guns. Gets you more firepower. Some guards in a position to uh, charge forward and take up some positions on the walls if need be. So we've got some fusiliers and some line infantry reserves. That's pretty good. Everyone's inside. Yep. Yeah. You guys fire. Actually, no, you're going to be... No, they're going to be within within range soon. So my artillery is going to focus fire their artillery. Heavy horse howitzer artillery. That's not good. It looks like they've decided where they're going to breach. So let's deploy one of my gun teams. They've done some good hits there. Let's go after the line infantry, though. They're... Okay, they're dropping their own quick climb against us. That's not... Super good. Let's deploy... Some of our men back. Come on, right... Why... Right click. Yeah, there we go. Come on! These fusiliers can deploy like so. Let's get these guys back here. Howitzers focus on the infantry. They're definitely going to make a way, going to make their way into the uh, into the fort. We're not going to be able to stop them. Okay, don't aim for the riflemen. Aim for these guys on the right. Okay, I might deploy my cavalry outside. Just to buy some volume within the city, within buy some space within the uh, within the fort. You guys are limber. Let's turn fire all off. Okay. Militia, abandon the command HQ. Try and knock it down, all right. You guys, get the hell out of there. My quick climb hasn't been super effective. Missed a lot more than anything. These riflemen have, mar have got too close to the walls. They can't use their their range to defeat us, so they will get chewed up and then thrown back. My men are, are they? I've got a lot of my, most of my militia out. Still a bunch in there, all within the same unit model. You might only have one more volley to get out if you're not careful. Come on, militia. 
a lot of guys in that model, as you can see when you press space, all these spaces there are still empty. Regulars are there. Oh, quick climb done some good job against the 14th regiment. Need to be very careful with this. You guys hit the Cossacks, you guys hit the Mercenaries. The Albanian Warband's going down. So my, field, my, my walls are getting free shots. Hey, we knocked it on the heavy horse artillery. How it's the units. Or guns. Okay, they're still gonna... Hey, what happened to you? Ah, are they shooting? For some reason the howitzers are picking at that particular unit. Don't worry, we're making it. Oh, oh a lot of my field artillery was very upset when that uh, command HQ came down. So who's left? They've been bombarding my infantry up there for a while. Yeah, you're okay there. Pain infantry have wandered within range of my guard infantry. So that's not necessarily the best call for them. Regiment of Force. Deploy! They will not likely survive the engagement, or the. Hey, one of them's stuck in the gate, so. Uh, you guys run. I won't have to worry about that heavy horse howitzer for too much longer. Run, 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 run. I will likely lose the regiment of horse, but to knock out those howitzers I think is a good call. I might be able to get the six pounder horse artillery with it. Right, let's redeploy you like so, to get most of the men off of the, out of the danger zone. Well, as many men as possible out of the danger zone. These guys fire canister shot at the breach, let's get you guys on fire at will. Let's get one of our howitzers to sit here trying to drop, quick climb onto it. Too late, sonny boy. Even though you've chucked a regiment of horse after me, and a Vibignone Strudzi unit, it's still not enough. Those howitzers are going down. Eastern European mercenaries are also sneaking around the rear. Yeah, this unit was. Always likely to be on a uh, suicide mission. I want to try to see if I can if I keep you guys out of it while I focus on this battle. If I can knock out the heavy horse artillery, that would also be good. It would stop them from making too many breaches. Oh, 
no, they got shot at by a volley of something. No, they've gone for it. Charge my other cavalry in to annihilate the infantry there. So at the very least we've knocked out the howitzers and we've also reduced their horse artillery. Oh, I need to... Oh no, they're all still firing while they're hitting. Nothing important yet. Okay, they're shattered, so let's keep you guys back. Okay, it looks like they're now going to try and make their way in. Let's try and run these militia up into the centre. Let's try and just pour more firepower onto these guys on the right. Let's turn fire it well off for you, then turn it back on again. I want you guys to man the cannons, really. Okay, let's try and run... my cavalry inside, because i got a feeling that's what they might be going for. Fire well off, fire well on again. Maybe this time the regulars have. Are these guys going to try and actually scale the walls and attack me? Alright then, if you guys are going to stay out here, I can't have them half in, half out. You guys try to go for those cuirassiers, sat right at the back. You guys try to go after that unit of them. Go after the Cossacks ourselves. Okay, so these irregulars are actually trying to scale the wall. Not quite sure what they're going to hope to achieve. Break them. Okay, good. Now scatter them. Shatter them. Not scatter them. You guys attack the irregulars. Oh, okay, looks like they've abandoned that. They are, they have started to climb back down. Well, they did do. Because they were starting to uh, try and charge in. Keep picking new targets with the guns. Yeah, the rifleman got punted away pretty rapidly. Get one of the guns, start to shoot at those riflemen that are at range. Some general's bodyguard coming up. Go after the regulars. This line infantry can hit the riflemen. They've actually got a good shot here. There's more of there's more of the riflemen, but they're not very good in melee combat. Certainly not compared to line infantry. Same with irregulars. 
Yep, Crassiers are going to try and charge in. Oh no, they've changed their mind. There is going to be a big old cavalry push. Go on, keep killing the riflemen. Hey, don't waver. Good. Alert, why are these these rove these infantry don't quite know why they got out of formation because they should be doing a real number on those cam cavalry at short range the regiment of horse is now going to charge in Job a turn for it, we're all in the centre. Form square. Fire shrapnel shot instead. For the extra boom you get. There we go, they've all fought, picked up the in inside fire steps. They're hitting my mortar crews, my howitzer crews, no, run away. Hey, the general's bodyguards hit the mortars. Hit my field artillery, they can't do that. Alright, everyone jump into square. absorb the cavalry hit you may charge this rifleman being aware of the fact that you might actually lose them all yeah we're not going to lose it we're going to take it right back there we go so long cavalry. Run up, make sure we tag the central point again. Let's line up two units of troops this time. Okay, let's line them up. We could well lose a unit in the breach, but to be honest, it's not going to really matter. We'll lose these two units stuck up here, and that's fine. Get my much push this line up like so. And it means I'll probably dump a unit of grenadiers or a unit of guardsmen behind them. There we go. Bringing in more reinforcements. 24 pounder heavy horse guard artillery. That's going to be blowing the hell out of something. Lots of my guns are... My guns are knackered. How's your ammo situation? Fairly good. Let's hold off from firing. This is most of my men. To be honest, if I'm not going to have my howitzers, I'm going to have my... I'm not going to have howitzers, I'm going to have 
field artillery firing at least. Because the big problem of what you start to get now is questions of questions around ammunition. Oh no, this, uh, this artillery is also knackered. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. I'm curious if they're actually going to... I mean, they're going to blow another... put another breach in there, maybe? It's mainly just watching to see what they do. Part of me wonders if their artillery is focusing on my artillery, and because we've now lost that unit of guns is now not, not doing any good, I'm going to just move up my infantry to here, my guards behind them. Then maybe even, to be honest, chop the recording and see what happens, because right now the enemy doesn't seem to want to push. But if I turn the fire wall back on for these guys... They might do some good work there, but right now they seem to be... Hey! They've got cav artillery back here as well. Silly Dragoons. You thought that's that was going to work, but it wasn't. I finally realised what you were doing. Okay, you can all go off the Dragoons. Charge the artillery. They're still not ready to push. It looks like they are happy to just wander around in a big clump. So speed up time and just watch. Cavalry go in. Confident for now. So they're still not actually trying to push. They're, gonna, they're just going to sit here and skirmish my men. I'm going to turn the fire will back off because then they'll step away from the fire step and get a bit more cover. There's a unit of militia coming up and there's a unit of Oh, charges. They might be able to charge through the breach. Let's see if you guys engage the regiment of horse if they get close enough. Well, no, they're all engaging the marines. Cavalry's coming in. We don't really have great defences to push them out. I mean, I've got my infantry. They can load and fire as fast as they can. Form square. Engineers are coming in, militias coming in, the marines are coming in. Let's push my cavalry along the right. You guys fire well off.
they've made a play. So we're going to make one as well. There goes the end of their cavalry, so I want to get my guys into into formation quickly. Although these are oh, come on, man. Good job, I've got guards, man. Run this cavalry around. This unit of marines. Drop these guys into fire at will mode. Same with my with my militia. Well, my regiment of well, my household cavalry is going to go for the general's bodyguard. My other cavalry unit is going to go for this horse guard artillery right at the back of the map, and then finish off that unit of horse artillery. these marine get these guardsmen off the wall get this line infantry back here just in case and then reload good Our militia was wavering Big old melee party by the looks of it. Charge you guys in, charge the mercenaries in. Charge my fusiliers in, they're not good for that kind of work, but... Go after the sharpshooters, you guys go after the artillery. Go on, General, in you get. This is the 9th Regiment. Took out their artilleries. What fresh units have we got? Well, my militia's not fresh, but it'll do. Same with you guys. Come on, kill them. You got is to kill the sharpshooters, the sharpshutzen. You guys have to come down and charge in the combat as well. Okay, let's get. Okay, make sure you get them. You guys charge into the combat and fight as well. And my militia have got to get stuck in as well, especially when it says things like their marines are winning decisively. Excellent. So unit of engineers routed. Charge the marines. You guys charge in the back of the 16th foot guards. You guys hit the horse artillery. These fusiliers form rank. Infantry units also form line. So actually, they're irregulars. We've got militia coming in afterwards, but oh, those are marines. Okay, just get my men to form line. Keep my cavalry free. You guys chase down the eighth. You guys. Oh no, no, cavalry, get out of there. Oh, 
You're going to knock out their last regiment of horse. It's only four men left, but let's quickly get you guys back up towards the centre. You guys charge the marines. My militia are fighting their militia. Good. Their marines are shaken. Whoops. What the hell was that? I don't know what button I pressed there. Charge every load of people into the militia. Then charge my household cavalry into the back of the militia as well. Well, actually, let's use my household cavalry to chase down the marines. This regiment of horse will be enough to rout the remaining Russians. Oh, yeah, that was close. That was very, very dodgy. Let's push them away at least a bit. Ooh. Need to get some reinforcements up to the front. Yeah, you're going to carry on raiding. So where's Sweden going to attack us? Sardinia or Gdansk? Uh, auto resolve. See how many men our militia can kill. 421, not bad. Ooh, they're finally going to attack us at Gdansk. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the first of a pretty... Well, this might take the entire episode actually to, wait to fight this battle, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for a fight outside one of the last remaining Swedish garrisons. Cheers everyone.